The Oversight Committee probably deals with more whistleblowers than any committee in Congress. You always look for two things when a whistleblower comes forward. Did they have firsthand knowledge and what is their bias and or motive? This individual, whomever he may be, has problems in both areas. All right, let's go in depth now on this government whistleblower. We now reportedly know who this person is. The claim is that they are a CIA employee with ties to prominent Democrats. You just watched Ohio Congressman Jim Jordan say the person has problems as a whistleblower. The individual reportedly has no firsthand knowledge of President Trump's call with the Ukrainian president and reportedly is biased against President Trump. Real Clear Investigations, The Washington Examiner, and The Federalist are all reporting that it's a CIA employee with ties to former Vice President Joe Biden and former CIA Director John Brennan. However, we here at Newsmax have not been able to independently verify the identity of this person, so we have chosen not to say his name or show his photograph. Now, the individual's name has also reportedly come up in depositions as part of the House's impeachment inquiry. He reportedly worked with Brennan while he was in the National Security Council. Now, Democrats, of course, came to his defense. Banning the whistleblower is uh, an unpatriotic action. They shouldn't even go near that. The person reported to be the whistleblower then stayed in the White House until the middle of 2017 when he was sent back to work at CIA headquarters. Biden also reportedly invited him to a lunch with the Italian premier. But guess who else was also allegedly at that lunch? John Brennan, James Comey, and former director of national intelligence, James Clapper. All three men reportedly under investigation by Attorney General Bill Barr and his special counsel, John Durham. Brennan is now deflecting. The issue, the problem, is right near here. It's at 1600 Pennsylvania. It's not at the Hoover Building. It's not at Langley. It's not at Fort Meade. And the professionals that carry out their daily responsibilities of those places are going to continue to do what it is that they are expected to do. Now, as we reported yesterday, Jim Jordan and Steve Scalise, two Republican members of the Congress, claim that House Intelligence Committee Chairman Adam Schiff is not letting witnesses answer questions posed by GOP members. Schiff also reportedly shut down a line of questioning that Republicans asked Army Lieutenant Colonel Alexander Vindman also on the National Security Council. They wanted to know if Vindman spoke to anyone about his knowledge of Trump's call with the Ukrainian president. Schiff then reportedly said the committee would not allow for that kind of questioning. So once again, politics is triumphing over due process. You just watched Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing news channel, now in 65 million homes. Get Newsmax TV on all the major cable systems or go to NewsmaxTV.com and click on the Find Newsmax tab to locate us. Remember, Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.